Welcome to this blog. It's blog number 39, me learning to play the Melodeon. I'm using a GCF three row Melodeon today and I've been asked to uh, come up with a version of Tom Dooley for the Melodeon. Um, Tom Dooley is a song that I've sung since I was a, a child. Um, very well known folk song, loads of ways of singing it, there's loads of different versions of it. I'm just using two chords and I'm playing in the key of C here. Uh, on my very special music, uh, I show the C row, that's the middle row here, uh, with notes that have diamond heads, and I show the F row, that's the row nearest to the, the switches, nearest to the bellows, as having the normal kind of egg-shaped heads. Um, I don't actually use the G row at all in this piece. So it, essentially it's a CF melodium. It's not quite the same as a CF, but you know, generally it is. Uh, where it differs, of course, I've got more bass notes at my disposal. So I start on the C row with my G, 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 and the A is on the uh, F row. Back to the C row for the uh, C note and the two E. So I've got... Next line. So all that so far has been on the push. When you want the A note, you find it uh, on the F row. And as far as the uh, left hand is concerned, I'm just playing a C bass and C chord, all pushing. So you'll find that you'll need to open your bellows quite a long way because there's quite a lot of notes on the push here. So you start with finger two with the right hand. And then you've got to change direction, you've got to pull. Now the G note and G chord, the left hand, uh, is found by playing the same buttons you've just been playing, but it's pulling out, so it's easy. And the D note in the right hand is on the C row. And then you've got to push now. Now the G note and G chord this time, uh, of course, you're going to have to find it somewhere else. On this type of melodeon, you get a G, G bass and G chord by pushing and playing these two buttons. Okay, so you were earlier on you were pulling those two buttons, now you're pushing. Here it's the same. Thing. Okay, so so far we've got So all the pushing and pulling is marked on the sheet and those first four staves give you the chorus. Let's just play that really slowly for you. Open the bellows wide and we go like this. is me using my um, air button quite a lot there so I've got plenty of bellows to play the notes that I need. Now the verse is very similar of course it's a slightly different uh, setup of tied notes whereas in the, in the chorus you're going here you're going Play the 
verse you start by pushing So simply just two chords, the C chord and the G chord, and um, it falls pretty nicely for the right hand. Start with the uh, finger to your uh, middle finger of your hand, and you'll find you'll have fingers available for all the notes that you need. So you end by playing the chorus again, so you've now got this. So there we are, that is Tom Dooley, played with just two chords, a C chord and a G chord, on a GCF melodeon uh, in the key of C, using only the C row, that's the middle row, and the F row, that's the row nearest to the bellows. So how would you play that same tune if you only had a two row melodeon? Uh, the person that asked me to figure this out, I think they play a CF, and I don't actually have one of those. I've got the DG, so it's, uh, it's slightly uh, higher pitch, but uh, it's not quite as satisfying uh, bass note wise, but I think I can make it work. So this is what it sounds like, and you'll hear the bass isn't quite right, but I think it's workable. Obviously, you know, I'm, I'm only using two chords. I haven't got the advantage on this melodeon of the G note and G chord uh, on another couple of buttons uh, like I have on the GCF. So obviously I, I'm, I'm changing chord at slightly strange uh, places, but I think it, it does more or less work. And the right hand, of course, is the same as it was for the uh, other melodeon, okay? So the chorus. So on this melodeon, um, if you've only got a two row, then obviously the row nearest the outside, that's your diamond headed row if you like, and the row nearest the bellows is going to be your normal headed row in terms of the, the note heads. So let's see what it sounds like on this. So a lot of this is bellows control, you need to, you need to really control your, your air button well uh, to make a, a decent job of this. So, a lot of control over the air button. Uh, chord wise, it doesn't sound quite so good as the GCF version, uh, but I think it works fairly well. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you in the next vlog.